Where did everybody go? Where are you? Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar, your home for vintage Lego. I'm doing this video as if you're standing behind a politician speaking to an audience. I could be saying words and just dubbing it, or I could actually be talking. I am actually just talking here. Uh, this is the They Might Be Giants shirt. Did you know I collect They Might Be Giants memorabilia and shirts? I got way too many They Might Be Giants shirts. This is a Dallas song shirt. They Might Be Giants, you know, Brooklyn's ambassadors of love. I, I get a lot of trains from Brooklyn. That has nothing to do with Lego, but <laughs> as a train store that I buy from all the time up there in Brooklyn, Train World. So in this video, we got a package, and I went ahead and opened this. I wanted to see what it is, and uh, this is actually pretty interesting. It touches on, on something I already knew about, but I want to ask you about something, about something called Lego. And it might not be what we think it is. And then I got a package from Bricklink. Before we get to those packages and stuff, and I think I'll cover a set that's in. I think there's a set in this box. I could be wrong. We'll find out. But there was a question by a Brick in Time, which is actually a pretty cool YouTube channel name. <laughs> um, they were asking about t-shirts. So, you know, I'm doing a different t-shirt every day in 2021. And so far, I've not worn the same t-shirt twice in a video. Or as the main shirt in the video. I think there was one time you saw my sleeve and it might have been a different shirt. But Anyway, <laughs> that doesn't count. Uh, but anyway, the, the question by a brick in time ask about t-shirts. And it's a hashtag bat brings our answer thingy in case you're wondering what that means. And it was, I'm paraphrasing again because I don't have it in front of me. Uh, do you think Lego should make a line of t-shirts of some of the vintage themes or do you know is that a good idea actually i would love that and i think a lot of the kind of illegal fan made stuff uh, covers a lot of vintage things i've been wearing some of the brick swag shirts you know those featured uh, some vintage themes and they had to when they first started doing the series they kind of got away with some stuff but then lego kind of cracked down and they couldn't do the minifigure based stuff as much so they had to kind of stretch it with some other things but um yeah the the minifigure based stuff especially but yeah i'm all for the vintage stuff i mean kevin hinkles designed some shirts which i guess technically could be some of them could be considered infringing but come on lego let let these guys let you know what that would be a perfect partnership is have a designer like a kevin hinkle uh, be licensed by Lego or approved to use the Lego mini. I'm pointing like there's a Lego minifigure on this shirt. So they might be giant shirt, not a Lego shirt. I should have wore a Lego shirt. <laughs> but you know, you use a, a Lego, uh, something that's a Lego minifigure, any, any things that Lego doesn't like to give. You know, if they could license it and then you could have designers like a Kevin Hinkle design these really cool shirts and then you could sell them maybe still on like the Teesprings and things like that. Lego wouldn't have to actually go into the manufacturing of them. Uh, they might get a little cut of the money and they could advertise it or it could be, it, it could, it could, I don't know logistics of this thing, but I'm, I'm just saying it would be pretty cool, but I don't know, maybe people got too many t-shirts I know I do. All right, so uh, I think it was a good question. I would love to see some vintage things, like, you know, whether it be the castle, vintage trains, uh, or even some kind of the throwbacks to the old stuff, like from the 70s. Uh, I used to love the box art in the 70s. That would have the, It wasn't really art. It was photographs of kids, and I don't know how you could incorporate that onto a T-shirt, but uh, there's a lot of really neat... Uh, Sometimes the boxes were cooler than the sets back in the 70s. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get in to see what's in these uh, here and talk about, is it Lego? Let's find out. So I got this package and it had a note. And it's, um, they sent this on the 1st of June. It says, Dear Brickzar, 
And I'm not going to show this because it's got an email address there. And who is this from? This is from somebody in Vancouver. Oh, and I can't read the... Uh, I can't email them because I can't... It, it's kind of in cursive, and I'm not good at reading cursive, and I can't make out the name. Chess years. You're going to have to... You'll have to contact me. <laughs> it says, I subscribe and enjoy your YouTube channel. Low-key and unpretentious. Well, thank you for saying that. It says, always a nice stop for me in my day. Since you seem to collect various brands, I thought you would be interested in these Lego Peanuts crossover items. I came across them in a book, and you may already know about them. I do not see any on BrickLink. All the best 2021. Keep posting. All right, so here we go. Now I'm going to show you this, and if you want, if you search Lego Peanuts bobblehead, you will find listings on eBay. All right, and I'm going to show you what they sent me here. This is um, this is one of those bobbleheads. This is Pigpen. It says in 1959, the Lego Company of Germany produced the second series of Peanuts figure with the nodding. They call these nodders. Also, you'll see that in the title of the eBay listings. Uh, nodding heads attached to their bodies by springs. They made Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Lucy, Linus, Schroeder, and Pigpen. This time complete with dirt. All right, so the thing is, it says Lego, and if you look at the bottom of this figure, it, it, it does have a, a Lego, L-E-G-O. It says L-E-G-O, so here's some of the... Well, here's another... See, there it is, the Nodder figure. This is 1959... All right, and then, so it's different advertisements. Uh, they cut out, they, yeah, that's, this is what they've done. They've cut out the, the, uh, the different um, nodders here. We got Schroeder. Um, and let's see what other nodders we got here. There's Snoopy. Now I've seen this one on eBay, the Snoopy one. And let's see what else we got. We got Linus. And we got, of course, Charlie. You couldn't have one without having Charlie Brown, right? All right. So the question, the question is, there's peanut, peanuts. Is it Lego? Is it really? Is this, it says here, the Lego Company of Germany. And the ones I've seen on eBay, they say Lego and it's Japan. All right, so I know some of you probably have seen this. And I've seen like porcelain or not, maybe it's not porcelain. I've seen dolls or maybe it is bobbleheads. I've seen other items that say Lego. When you're searching the word Lego, if you just search Lego and you search long enough, you'll come across stuff that's like this that doesn't look like it was made by the brick building company or the company that made the wooden toys. Uh, so I don't think this Lego company is Lego in Belund. I don't think it's the Lego company based out of Denmark, is what I'm saying. Uh, and even though, you know, this is, says Germany, it, the ones I saw on eBay said Japan. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Is it Lego? Is it Lego, our favorite company that makes the brick-built toys? Or is it another company that just used that uh, trademark or maybe there was a company that actually had the same name is that possible um or is it actually lego i i don't think it is but let me know because i probably should go buy one of these if it is <laughs> but i don't think it is <laughs> and i really appreciate him sending this uh, to me because this is one of those things that a lot of people don't know about and if you, I, I did some Googling here before I, I filmed because I, I was trying to do my research and it's like, I couldn't find nothing about like, is it like, I don't know how to say, is this Lego, the actual Lego company? How, how do you search? <laughs> Are Nodders actual Lego or is it another company that had the exact same name as Lego? I, or is it like, I don't know. So I need to know. Okay, let me know. 
So it's not like when you when you find the wooden toys, you you know that's Lego, and it's got the Lego logo. So maybe I need to look in one of my Lego history books. That's what I'll do after this video, and maybe I'll do an update. Maybe we'll get your comments. Uh, when y'all leave the comments, maybe somebody will have a good answer or a good resource. I even went to a peanuts forum or a, web, a, a website that was about peanuts, which is not, it's not, peanuts is, I remember watching Charlie Brown when I was a kid, but it's not something I ever got into. It, it, actually, Charlie Brown kind of frustrated me. That um, I was like, why is this old man, he's like an old man, Charlie Brown, yes, this uh, balding, middle-aged, Ch toddler or whatever he is uh, elementary school student <laughs> um, and then was it Lucy which one was it that used to pull the football out from under him I used to hate that it's actually kind of a depressing uh, series <laughs> all right let's see what we got in here this is well packed all right, let me get some. Ooh, look at that! Do you see what I see? Paradisa. Right, I'm gonna get all this trash off the table. Make sure I don't throw anything away that's Lego. So, this is one of the things I got. I wanted to have an extra. Oh, you know what? This will actually probably work out for me because somebody has already put pinholes in it. It looks like they put the stuff here that you would put, uh, tape it up. So I have one of these in good condition, but I wanted one that I can hang up on the wall. And I can, since they put these things on it, or is that the way it came? No, look, that's somebody put the tape on there. I can, you can put um, a tack through it. So I'm going to tack these up on the wall, but man, I had to get that. Look at that, Paradisa post. Pretty sure I already got a couple of parodies supposed to. This was actually pretty large. Uh, this is not what I went to the store for. They just had it, and it was a it was really cheap. So I was like, yeah, I'll get an extra one that way. I can hang one of them, and this one will work out uh, to hang up. So yeah, I collect parodies. So that's right. All right, what do we got in here? All right, got some vintage wires. Oh. I guess these were no instructions. Um, so I got set 682, which is one of the vintage uh, Legoland trucks. We got some vintage parts here. That also goes to set 682. That's uh, the base to this set, or set like this, I think. Yeah, 338. Yeah, so they, this goes to 682. This goes to 338. Man, those stickers are in pretty good shape. So this is an ambulance. It's actually a, uh, a version. There's two numbers of the same set. This one of those were uh, like the North American and the Europe version or whatever. You know, had two different numbers. I have one of them, so I wanted the other. Um, I guess I have the instructions somewhere. This is set 654 which had the uh, rare black drum. They got, oh, those are counterfeit string. That's not the actual string that came with it. Oh, and look, look, look what this is. You know what this is? They got it listed as 612. <laughs> I think this thing was like $2. We'll see if I can build this. Oh no, I forgot how to build it. It's a tipper truck. How do you build a tipper truck? I don't, I don't remember. This is the set 612 version of the tipper truck. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's incomplete. All right, so it's supposed to have two, there's supposed to be two one by four uh, bricks and they're not here. So let's see what else we got going on. We got the, um, all the other parts it looks like I just don't have those two two by four I mean one by four bricks oh that stinks so I'll put that there that there so the tipper truck army was going to get bigger so now I gotta find why did they not oh man 
Let's go into my one by four brick stash. Huh, I found another one of these when I was looking for these. All right, so, man, that's sad. I mean, a 17 piece set. Oh, God. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it was me all alone. It was the perfect crime. Oh my goodness. So he did. I, I know. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I can't. So it was there. I'm sitting there getting mad and it was complete the whole time. Good job. So, oh my goodness. He's, this thing's. <laughs> I needed those bricks anyway. Um, boy, this thing is sad rolling. But yep, another tipper truck for the tipper truck army. Ooh. I think even now, even though I haven't really begun officially building all of them, I've built several. I think we're already at the largest in the world. I got it's my unofficial Guinness Book of World Record already. I mean, who else has this many? And when I say that, I mean one. Who who else has at least one? <laughs> So all in all, that's a pretty good uh, hodgepodge of things. So are these Lego, these Lego peanuts? <laughs> that sounds contradictory, but um, these knotters, these bobbleheads that were made in 1959. I'm going to go look on eBay. I, I really, I almost clicked a buy it now. On one. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it's not this Lego company that makes things like Paradisa. So I'm going to go find a place for that. And yet another tipper truck. So this is the year of the tipper truck, apparently. I, I didn't have a, a goal as to, like, a number. Uh, but I'm just going to keep every time I go to BrickLink and I'm placing an order at a store, if they got the parts to it, especially the rare parts, the or the harder to find parts, the uh, the four by, it's got a four by 10 plate, which the, in red, which surprisingly is hard to find at a low price. The tipper truck, the most important part, the tipper, and um, the windshield headlight brake. So I, in, I, I've ordered all of these parts and I got, I even got more orders coming. Um, some of the sellers that have these in large quantity don't have shipping to my country, my, my state that I live in. So I could get more, but they won't ship them to me. I would like to uh, corner the market on tipper trucks. So, <laughs> yeah, that's my goal for 2021. Why not? You know, some people have goals about improving their business I, i'm just going to get more tipper trucks all right we'll see you in the next video be safe i can't drop the mic i put it in my shirt